my darlings welcome back to another video i hope you guys are enjoying your thursday um today we're going to be talking about how to basically be the bougie um aunt without you know having nieces and nephews i mean if you do have nieces and nephews great um but i mean i don't so whatever but you know what i mean we're going to talk about how we can be a lady of class and a lady of wealth and a lady of sass and a lady of pedigree. Um, but before we begin with the topic, I would like to first say thank you so much for 100 subscribers. We are now over 100 subscribers, but I am so happy that you ladies are enjoying my content and you guys are just amazing. And I'm so happy that what I have to say is helping you and inspiring you and motivating you um, into becoming a better version of yourself and bettering your lifestyle. So thank you so much. You guys are amazing. And I'm going to try to do something soon about um, the 100 subscriber mark. But with the election going on and with me trying to figure out my moving situation, um, it has been stalled just a little bit. But I promise I will think of something very, very soon. Um, the second announcement that I'd like to make is that I've been deleted on Instagram. Um, I am no longer high value sugar. I am now at the opulence school. I'll have that down in the description box if you need to see what it looks like, like how to spell it or anything. Um, but the opulence school is now my new name. I am no longer associating myself with high value sugar. Um, this YouTube channel will be slowly but surely changed into the opulence school so i'm high value sugar going to be the opulence school very very soon and the third announcement that i'd like to make is i am going to be uploading more classes to my website within the next few days so if you want to basically learn how to be better than everyone else <laughs> um go ahead and check out my classes i talk about high value dating and i talk about being a high value woman i talk about getting your money as a sugar baby and I talk about finances and well I'm going to be talking about I have so many class ideas that I I have for you ladies so definitely go check out my website but follow me on Instagram at the opulent school because I'll be posting my updates to any future classes on that Instagram profile so now that I got that out of the way, let's talk about how to be better than other people. I'm just kidding. Um, but episode nine, today is episode nine, and the topic is about how to act like a lady of the upper echelon. So the first way, increase your vocabulary, your diction. I don't think that you have to use strong vocabulary with every sentence that you say because that's like a little like obnoxious and bizarre, but I would definitely expand your word bank and use words that provoke an emotional response. So let's talk about an example. You are at a restaurant and you order dessert tonight. You decide that you're going to be ordering dessert and you are wanting a chocolate lava cake. You haven't had chocolate in weeks and you've been craving it and now is your night to finally have it. So the chocolate cake comes and it's hot. It's like super warm and the ice cream is super cold next to it and you break apart the chocolate lava cake with your spoon and all the liquid chocolate just oozes out and you take it and you you put it you know you take a scoop of the ice cream the cold ice cream and it's like heaven in your mouth and you say oh my god this is so good ew how tacky no 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 no. instead of saying something is good you want to use a word like divine and when i went to the uk i heard a lot of the locals there say divine and i fell in love i think people who live in the uk they just say words that are just so chic so instead of saying, oh my God, this is like so good, you're going to say, oh, this is absolutely divine. That's so chic and posh. Use it. Stop saying things taste good. You want to say tastes divine. There you go. Um, you can use the word decadent. Oh my God, this is so decadent. Decadent is more like a rich. So wow, this is very decadent. Instead of saying, wow, this is really chocolatey, say, wow, this is very decadent very rich say things like that 
Um, Another example could be you are complimenting your man, whether he looks good or he doesn't look good, you should still compliment him. Um, So instead of saying, wow, you look handsome, I mean, handsome, really? Like, that's so basic. He's heard that one before. Trust me. Um, Instead of saying, wow, you look handsome, gag, say, wow, you are looking dapper. Look at you looking dapper, dapper, you guys, dapper, not handsome, dapper. You can say exquisite, exquisite, dapper. Um, you know, using it, it, expand your word bank, ladies. Okay. Google some words. If you have to read, reading books will definitely improve your vocabulary. Pay attention in class. I learned a lot of the words that I, that are, I guess, considered big, um, through at at school. So, you know, pay attention, but expand your vocabulary, no matter how you expand your vocabulary and what ways you learn more words, go ahead and learn it regardless using stronger vocabulary. Um, it will make you appear more posh, more educated and more cultured. So number two, Stop being so basic when you order food. You want to try new things, even if you tweak the things that you already eat. So let's just say, for example, um, you like to order a filet. A lot of people like filets, and I get it. But don't just order a filet and then order your sides. You want to order a filet and add to that filet. So you could try a filet Oscar. You could try a filet with a lobster tail. You can have a filet with a wine sauce or a peppercorn sauce. I mean, there are so many ways to eat a filet than just having a standard filet. So try to add more to your meal. Um, If you like to order mac and cheese, I love mac and cheese. I, I talk about it all the time. But if you order mac and cheese at a fine dining restaurant, ask for shaved black truffle. Maybe ask for lobster bites or crab bites in it, but try to add for it. Uh, Try to add to it. I'm sorry. Try to add to it. I personally like shaved black truffle. Um, Some restaurants offer truffle oil, like a white truffle oil. Um, Regardless, tastes super, super good. Um, It will be more expensive, but you're not the one paying, so it doesn't really matter. Um, If you're at an Italian restaurant, don't order the pasta get out of the pasta and the Italian, you know, restaurant thing. You don't always have to order pasta at an Italian restaurant. Order veal. Veal's a a, a meat. Order veal. I love veal. So, and if you haven't tried it, try it. Um, Personally, I love it. So go ahead, experiment with new things, okay? Food that will make you stand out. Uh, Truffle, carpaccio. You know, not a lot of people order carpaccio. I was surprised when I was told that. Um, Caviar, Kobe beef, veal, bison, venison, um, truffle, of course. I don't know if I just said that. I mean, I know I said it like 80 million times before, but whatever. Don't be so regular with your food at restaurants. And if you must, if you have to have what you always have, then try to see if there's more that you can do to that meal. Um, Like asking for truffle. (laughs) <laughs> so number three, you want to know how to party when it's a celebration and you're invited and it's a celebration, um, for the host, whether it's a bachelor party, bachelorette party, baby shower, engagement party. Um, your friend is hosting a little soiree because she just got promoted, um, at work, whatever it is, you always want to bring a gift and you want to present the gift in a small gift bag. So if you've listened to my previous video on tips from a trophy wife, which I will put the link in the description, you would know that you should always give gifts to young adults and older in the form of a gift bag. Gifts could include a greeting card with a gift card inside. It could be a bottle of wine, but never ever gift liquor. If you're going to be gifting alcohol, gift wine or champagne, no vodka, no tequila, no Hennessy, no rum, none of that. I feel like that's a very masculine thing to do. It's what guys like to do. Gifting tequila and gifting liquor, honey, no. Let guys be the one to do that. So anyway, 
as a lady, gift wine or champagne. If you're attending a housewarming party, gift a small appliance like a blender. If you really don't care about that person, then gift them a coffee table book. It's cute, it's posh, it's simple. It shows that you respect them enough to give them a gift to their party, but you don't really like them. So coffee table book. Always bring a gift. They didn't have to invite you and leaving a gift is just classy and you will definitely be invited again, even if you don't wanna be invited again. You will and everyone, you know, you'll feel better. You'll feel good if you were invited to places a lot. So um, bring a gift. Also, at these parties, you want to make an appearance. You don't want to be a party guest. Be only someone who makes an appearance. So personally, I arrive tastefully late, about 20 minutes after the scheduled party time, and I'm usually the first person to leave. Um, You always want to quick tip. You always want to come across as someone who has better things to do. Honestly, if you want to appear effortlessly cool, always act like you have better things to do. So arrive, present your gift, um, mingle with the hosts, mingle with the guests, and say your goodbyes. Number four, you want to know your hot spots. Um, We're not talking about LA, Vegas, New York, Miami. No, honey, basic. Those are like basic tourists, like spots. And you don't want to be a tourist, okay? You want to be a traveler, not a tourist. So we're going to take it one step further and we're going to talk about the places, the mega wealthy, they like to go. San Tropez, St. Bart's, Lake Como, Tokyo, Amsterdam, Dubai, Monaco, Singapore, the Hamptons, Cape Cod. Those are just a few, but honey, those are the places you want to go. Stop coming to Miami. It's not all that great here. (laughs) It's, It's really not. In New York, I mean, everyone wants to go. I mean, how basic. Like, oh my God, I want to go to New York. Yeah, so does the 7 billion other people on the planet. Um, What else? LA, I mean, honestly, honey, it's been taken over by influencers. I don't know. If that's your style, go for it. Personally, not mine. Vegas, super cliche. Everyone goes to Vegas because it's so cheap to go to Vegas. It's, I mean, go if you want to have fun. But, I mean, you don't want to that's not going to show that you're cultured. Okay. Going to Vegas. So having a goal to travel to, and you can go to LA and New York and Miami and and Vegas. I'm not saying that, but when someone asks you, Oh, so where do you want to go? I want to go to Vegas. Like, no, honey, you want to go to Saint Tropez. So, um, you know, just have a goal to travel to the luxurious spots that I've mentioned. And it'll, it'll make you look like you are a woman who is used to the wealth and who expects the wealth. And the last tip that I have, stop being so open. Stop posting everything on social media. Stop texting back super fast. Stop always being on your phone. Stop always trying to hang out with people. Stop always having people over. Be someone who knows her worth and value and doesn't give it all away because she's bored or lonesome. You deserve to have me time. And you should reserve your energy into yourself and your goals before other people come into play. The most powerful currency, you guys, the most powerful currency, more powerful than money, more powerful than gold, is information. Don't be someone people know everything about. Stop ranting about your life on social media. Stop being so predictable and texting back people within 2.5 seconds and always going out. I am usually never on my phone. The pandemic has made me always be on my phone. But generally speaking, honey, I am only on my phone when I get a call or when I get a text. You want to make people wonder what you're up to. You know, what you're doing. You don't owe them an explanation unless, you know, of course, you are still living with a guardian or you have friends and family that have been worried about you. You know, then you go tell them. But live your life. Don't respond to people immediately. Don't accept every party invitation. Don't accept every follower request. Give people, especially strangers and acquaintances, very limited access to you and your mind. So there you have it. Five ways to basically be bougie. If you're interested in more ways for you to become someone who looks and acts like a woman of the higher social class, visit my website. The link is in the bio. I am in the process of creating an introduction to opulence class, which will lay out the foundation for all of you ladies who want to actually be a woman of opulence. So chat with you next time.